Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Wizard of Legend. So, after yesterday's kind of complete butt-kicking of a run, I'll do that at some point. I'm gonna just go back with uh, Old Faithful, and let's, let's pick a bunch of spells that I don't like, or haven't used. Um, we've got Flame Strike. I haven't used Stone Shot ever. Not bad. Let's do Stone Shot. Um, let's do Stone Shot. Uh, let's see, where are you? The Shark. And there's got to be something here that I really have not used. There's like Ball Lightning and stuff. There's Shattering Strike. Rock and Roll, Terra, Ring, Spiraling Typhoon. I mean, we haven't used Cyclone Boomerang. That's an oldie but a goodie. I like Cy Cyclone Boomerang. I just mostly want to pick, um... That shark got bigger, I want to say. But yeah, my goal here is to just pick uh, some spells that I haven't used before and wouldn't normally use. And use them. Uh, let's see. So, honestly, given the situation, it's probably best that we go Surefire Rocket. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'd particularly care for here, and I'm kind of coming up with blanks. Hmm. I could go Rocket Ship. We could go for the health. Or I could go with a map. Let's go with the Cartographer's Quill. Because that's, that's ultimately going to be like a 20% damage uptick uh, if I start with it. That seems that seems reasonable. It's a good all-rounder item to go with. But yeah, I don't know. I just... I poo-pooed the shark early on. I said I didn't like it that much. I didn't... I wasn't too interested in using it. It was unreliable. The enemies didn't seem to go for it. And... Uh, this is the shark button. And it just didn't seem like it was um, exactly something that I'd, I'd be able to use that often. We're going to try and... I, I'm going to dedicate the next couple episodes to stuff that I've, I haven't have used. No repeats. I've had enough wins already. So fair warning, I might lose here. I might lose a lot. Okay, that's, that's why I say it's unreliable. If they don't get caught in that AoE... Uh, if they don't get caught in that AoE, they don't go for it. They have to be within the circle of influence. But that's okay. I don't know. Cyclone Boomerang is gonna be kinda helpful. There we go. It certainly does a lot of damage, and I like the uh, upgraded version of it. Okay. That's pretty expensive, but I don't think I've used Gust Volley. Uh, we'll see if I can afford it, though honestly I'm going to prioritize picking up some good relics here if I can. VIP discount is... Eh, it's, it's okay. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that one. I guess if I had wanted to, I would have switched out the dodge, too. But I don't think that... I, I think I might almost just kind of commit to the this dodge forever. Uh, I like the other dodges, but they're just... They're just so vastly inferior to being able to... Portal... Back around. Like, constantly. That, like, it's hard for me to want to do anything else. Uh, if that makes sense. Like, all the uh, all the other dodges just feel kind of inferior. I guess I could have gone with the ice... ice decoy dodge. That actually would have worked really well. Now that I'm thinking about it. We were getting some mad charge here. More than I was expecting. Uh... A lot of health, too. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe the game's rewarding me for uh, trying other things. But yeah, I will admit the uh, the stone shot it does decent damage, but it seems like the uh, fire orb is probably the better option in the long run. Might just be me, but that's that's how it feels. The the bouncing flame orb it's just a bigger AOE. Shark. Oh yeah, we are getting non-stop health orbs. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting a speed run bonus on this one. But that's okay. I don't necessarily need a uh, speed run along the way. I will admit the AoE on the shark is big. It's just mainly I, I think the reason why I, I dismissed it, apart from the fact that you you have to catch the enemies in that AoE or they don't they don't even look at it, they'll just walk past it. Um it's also I tend to play very like fast uh high energy runs. Ow. Uh you know, runs with a, a lot of like oomph uh and a lot of like really fast quick attacks and whatnot. Um and it's very difficult for me to want to use something that uh, effectively triggers on a slow timer. Because uh, it, it doesn't feel very good. Wow, we've got a lot of health around here. We didn't take damage until the boss, too, which is good. Whoop, 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 whoop. You guys get in there. There we go. I will admit the shark does a lot of damage, but, you know, it's kind of why I would uh, normally pass up on stuff like Bolt Claymore. Um... It might be a good weapon. Uh, it might be a good weapon, might be a good skill, but it's uh, it's difficult for me to want to use it over something that I can more or less steamroll a guy over uh, over with with like within a couple of seconds, if that makes any sense. Okay, I am missing just a smidge. We have to be very particular about, uh, well, we don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. Um, but I, I gotta complete the entire map. The more I complete, the, uh, the bigger the damage bonus I'm gonna get. Okay, so I got 240. Let's see, so the VIP discount could be kind of nice. It would reduce the cost of Arcana from the shop. But I don't think I care. I'm just gonna grab Gust Volley. And we'll go from there. Yeah, that's that's nice coverage. Should work for me. A lot of air moves on this run. And then maybe after this run or something like that, or as part of these runs, I'm going to give the, uh... The, like, have seven of X element runs. Uh, see if I can get those running again. Because it is kind of my eventual goal here. It is my eventual goal here to uh, to run a purest run of each element, and ideally win. Okay, I can enhance the shot, shark. Lures in foes and giants alike, or giant sharks alike. I have no idea what the upgraded version of that does. There's also a sale on Earth Knuckle, which I would prefer over the stone shot, but I'm going to commit to the stone shot even if it's going to get me killed. Like, the entire point of this run is not to win. I'd like to win. I'm not going to throw it, but... Uh, but it's not my... It's not my end goal uh, to, like, really, really pull a meta, meta progression build on this one. Uh, all I care about is maybe not dying. Okay, well, that's... Uh, come on. I'm trying to use, like, half of my moves. I think I was getting stunlocked every time I try and use even a single one of them. This is why I prefer the faster, more immediate, uh, immediate attacks. It's so much easier. I will give credit to 
my setup though. It does uh it does damage. It just uh it doesn't it doesn't have a whole lot of control. Maybe if I had like the stone shield, this would be a good build, but I use that often enough, so I should probably I should probably not. Originality is key. Even if it's going to doom me, I I I want to have moves that I don't normally use. We got to We gotta kinda hipster this one through. Well, no, that's using a move before it's cool. What's kinda the opposite version of the hipster? The underdog hero? I guess we could call it that. That's not exactly what the opposite of a hipster would be. That would just be. Boop. That's just called being trendy, which is what hipsters are. Are. Fuck it, hipsters. I honestly don't care. The whole, like, hating on hipsters trend is kind of weird to me. It's like, it's a style, whatever. It's like hating on people that decide to dr dress kind of punky. It's just weird. I don't know. I had people that would make fun of me because I liked dark-ish clothing in high school, and it's like, why even? Like, who gives a shit? I'm just, I'm just wearing clothes, man. I mean, obviously, there's the one guy that had, like, the really ridiculous, um... Pants that you could fit a whole person inside, uh, covered in belts and stuff, and I'm like, okay, that that's kind of pushing the levels of practicality here, May maybe a little. Tears of Midas might be helpful. Signature charge and healed. Bring of reserves would be interesting. I'd like to do another one of those runs, um, but not this one. Honestly, let's just uh, let's go enhance my sharks. Let's go back here. Uh, let's see. I gotta remember, gotta get the uh, whole map down. There's like nothing left. Or maybe there is. Oh, the sharks got big. Oh, there's still a dude left. Okay, yeah, the enhanced shark ain't bad. The regular shark's just a little small for my tastes. Where's all those health orbs that I had previously? I'm digging the, um... Beyond the shark. Like, I think... I think continuously I will still say, uh, I'm not a big fan of the shark. Even though it's got, uh, merits behind it. But I will say the, uh, the wind combo I've got going is actually really good. Uh, it's pretty good for, like, bullying enemies around and stuff. Might not be able to kill him. Nope, got him. I just had to bully him in the corner. Dragon Blast. Okay. Sure. We're getting a lot of enemy control here. Which actually might combo really well with the shark. I, it, hard to say. The problem is the shark is such a, a slow move. It's difficult to uh, to plan around. The whirlwind, where you suck in a bunch of enemies around you, that could, that's probably one of the only only situations where I'd say the uh, shark has like a, a direct synergy. I don't think I see anything else in here. I don't care about the healing potion. I don't know. Uh, might take some fiddling with. I might do another shark run at some point and just be like, okay, this is the shark build. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait until. Oh, dude, shark is a signature. I'd be down for that. Ah, didn't get her. I do so little damage. I mean, I'm doing an okay. I'm doing an okay amount. Oh, will that hit her? No, it won't. That's the other reason why the uh, shark is unreliable. It's actually rather difficult to hit bosses with it. Because it... it gets chucked past you. It doesn't help that the, uh, the wind dragons kind of 
pull him around. I was hoping I could lock things in with it. But it doesn't look like the case. Okay, I'm actually going to move in um, Rebounding Icicles instead of the Shark. It does a very similar similar thing, but I uh, don't have to... I can just fire it off immediately and forget about it as opposed to try and corral enemies around it. I don't actually know if that's a good idea. And I did say this was going to be a Shark run and I've already abandoned the Shark, but it's another move that I never use, so I don't know. I might, I might switch them out, I might... He warped behind me in the middle of a stun lock. Dirty. I really like the wind uh, cyclone boomerang. I I I might actually do a couple runs with it, uh, especially like a. Uh, especially like a. Uh, oh, how 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 am I how am I going to? I'm not braining this one particularly well. Uh, but, like, if I ever want to do the all-wind move again, I think Cyclone Boomerang would be an amazing... Uh, mixture. It's got just enough AoE and really short cooldown, so you can kind of just, uh, fire it off constantly. Okay, chance to explode? No. Let's see. Foes with ailments? No. Cool, uh, defeating foes? Nah, it's kind of... They're... None of them are particularly amazing. I'm usually looking for for items that have like long-lasting effects. The reduced water damage one's kind of nice, especially against. Ow! Oh, I thought I got out of the way. Well, that's okay. Um, but yeah, the reduced water damage one's kind of okay against one boss. But the problem is, it's it's always just like one boss, and I'm like, mm, I don't really need one boss. Maybe it's because I'm good at the game, or maybe it's just because... Uh, well, I avoided one hit. I avoided one hit to take another. That's okay. We've got a lot of, uh, forward... Uh, like, for forward-facing damage here. Damage and control, it's a lot of pushing. This is a very pushy build. I think I actually intercepted, uh... I think I actually intercepted his shot, which is kind of great. Also, I can push him around. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good build. I... Once again, it's kind of why, uh, to go back to why I don't like the shark. Uh, I'm gonna beat this dead shark a bunch, uh, just to kind of get my point across. It's not a bad move, uh, but... The rest of these moves kind of all work together in terms of, like, a, a forward-facing uh, cone of horror uh, that I can commit, ag uh, commit against my enemies. The shark f will fly past enemies and be completely useless sometimes. And that's just kind of tough. Whereas, like, this way I'm more or less stunlocking enemies non-stop. Okay. Ah, uh, rapidly fire stones. Well, I mean, this is this is a no-brainer. <gasps> okay, stone shot has become significantly better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, some of the other moves might be kind of interesting, but at this point, I actually have a full build. Like, unless something amazing rolls by, I'm probably not going to change. I haven't run into a deal with Devil lately. I mean, honestly, we've barely run into anything. Hello! There we go. I kind of wish you could just hold down the X button and just rapid fire stones even faster than you do. But that's okay. Okay, here we go. Sharpen stylus. All damage dealt by 20% signature can no longer be charged. That's kind of tough. Uh, let's see, gain 250 gold, starting next stage, gain no gold until the debt is paid. I don't, 
I mean, the sharpened stylus could be kind of good, but I'm actually charging my signature pretty quick here. Like, it doesn't actually sound like a particularly good deal. Hilariously, I've still only got one item. That's just how good this build is. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm not wounded. There's no... There's nothing left. I've bought everything. Let's just get out of here. I... I honestly, like, I said at the beginning of this run, I'm just gonna pick a bunch of non-standard moves that I, I have generally passed up on in favor of other stuff. And here I am, rocking a pretty damn good build. I should have not dashed there. Whoops. Yeah. I charged my signature fast enough that I, I don't feel like it would be a good idea. To, uh, it would not be a good idea to switch switch it out for anything. Oops. Almost didn't hit him. There we go. Yeah, it's a lot of frontal control. Uh, let's see. Golden Saber of Envy would make this worth it. Because an, an additional 20% damage increase, and we've bought so little that I'm going to have money anyway. Let, let's see what I can grab from this floor first. There should be... Oh, man, there should be an item that does, like, uh, compounding interest or something. That would be really cool. Like, a uh, an item that is, like, you get 10% of the gold that you're carrying with you. Um... <laughs> I threw him into the pit. <laughs> I dodged out of the way. Oh, that was good. I mean, I still got hit. Uh, but that's okay. Alright, so we could get uh, Ward of Winds, which, I mean, wouldn't be a bad thing. Ward of, Ward of Winds would almost work really well with this shark. Oh, a shark ward build might be pretty good. You'd have to be, uh, you'd have to get the whirlwind move to really make it, uh, sing. Uh, effectively corral everybody around the shark in your wards. But even at that point, like, I'd probably rather just have wards. More than anything else. Okay. I'm surprised there's no... There aren't that many moves in this game that home in, actually. I was, I was kind of hoping there would be some, like, uh, like an auto-aim build at some point. That'd be cool cool to do. But oh well. Okay, so lightning damage. No. Sacrifice all arcana in your hand to revive from defeat. No. Signature so charge equal to damage taken. Kind of helpful. Uh, deafening symbols. Man, these are all crap. Uh, I'm going to grab the deafening symbols. And I'm probably just going to save my Gibbs. What else do we have left? Okay. Because yeah, I'm probably going to buy that sword. The 50% da uh, damage uh, price increase is expensive. Oh, that didn't hit him. That hit him. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. And now we're at 100%. Let's see. Yeah, 20% damage boost on top of the Cartographer's Quill. Like... That's just kind of a no-brainer. I could have gone for the, um, the Plague Vial. It might have actually had a similar... Well, it would have kind of sort of had a similar effect. Okay, we don't have any Lightning, and Scissors of Vitality is a really, really... I mean, it would save the run, but at this point, it's not worth it. Oh, right. I haven't actually finished this yet. Crash Knight. Oh, that's fine. I can deal with Crash Knight. Crash Knight ain't anything. It's a keep away build. <gasps> oh, no, that's take out box. Dang. When healed for more than your maximum health, gain a shield equal to half the excess amount. I wonder if that uh, counts for healing potions. 
be interesting to try, but I don't I don't care that much. I'm not gonna waste my money uh, on that. Yeah, I do have a shield around me though. I don't know if we get any money from the, this stage. Probably, probably not. Okay. Yeah, I can take some pot shots at her as we go by. And since I'm not focused on my basic attacks, there's not a whole lot of immediate reason to, um... To just be wailing on her there. Whoops. Get out of the way. I'm getting kind of good at dodging that, though, honestly. It's just the portal. Flawless. Alright, and we get Aqua Vortex. Which is... oh. Interesting. Not really for this build. It actually would work really well with the shark now that I'm thinking about it. But I've already got too good of a build uh, going, so I don't I don't want to sack it for for that. Because what Aqua Vortex would do is it would let me sit on top of the uh, the shark and pull everybody in. Uh, Jesus. He is aggressive. Ooh. And we get the Hummingbird Feather, which I don't know what that does. Briefly hover over pits. Well, that's going to save me from some damage. That's going to save me from, well, throwing myself awkwardly into the pit like I normally do. Oh, I didn't even... There we go. And my shield took a bit of a hit there. These guys hit like trucks. Uh, let's see. Actually... Oh. I was hovering over the pit. I didn't even realize. Ah, come on. I was getting bounced off the wall there. That was a new one. I couldn't do anything about it. How? How did you even hit me? I was... I'm impressed and a little upset. Okay, so yeah, now we're starting to take some damage here. Uh, I wonder how brief that... Uh, I wonder how brief that hover over pits thing is. Yeah, hard to say. Unfortunately, we've got trees and a couple other uh, obstacles that are going to kind of mess with me. Also, the enemies are tougher. But we do do a bunch of extra damage to them, so that's kind of nice. Ah! Die! <laughs> I might want to consider switching in Aqua Vortex over over something. The shark, I think, still would have been a, a bad choice at this point. The enemies are too mobile. But yeah, the Aqua Vortex would kind of be a, a go-to if I'm in trouble. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of wind moves. <clears throat> Using dash immediately after our kind of lose cooldowns. Oh no, that's that's useless to me. Extra gold, defeating enemies, chance to add unlimited charges to your movement arcana. Now this guy's just been uh, this guy's just been offering garbage today. What about you? Let's see, creeping tendrils. Interesting, but I mean we're we're already loaded with what we need, so I think I'll just give it a hard pass. Let's um. I'm gonna switch out the rebounding icicles.
Yeah, okay. The, uh, the whirlwind move is gonna be kind of nice for dealing with enemies that are close by. Main, main problem is just, uh, zone coverage. The rebounding icicles are good. Okay, Halo, Armor of Envy, Volatile Gemstone could be good. Sure. Uh, if we're lucky, we can find the box. If we don't get the box, oh well. But if I can just start spitting my, uh, my whirlwinds, that'll be nice. And if we can't, oh well. We'll live. Oh, I didn't realize he was... I didn't realize he was active. Okay. Damn. Yeah, his, um... His dudes don't disappear anymore. That's rough. I mean, we'll be fine, probably, but, uh, ow. I'm just gonna grab the healing potion. Keep going. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a little bit left. I do plenty of damage. Uh, they must have changed how how he works, or maybe maybe uh, just something about how I'm uh, how I was doing that was slightly worse. Uh, normally when you hit him, his little friends disappeared, but maybe it was the original ones? Because I know his, like, shadow clones will disappear if you hit the main body. I don't know, whatever. I'm, I'm kind of in this, like, um... I, I'm blitzing right now. I, I am doing really well, so I'm like, yeah, I can, I can just kind of rush, rush for the end and I'm making mistakes. I wouldn't say this is... You know, it's gonna screw me, but I need to slow down a little bit. This... This is not a run where I can just, uh... The other problem is, uh... The Aqua Vortex is good, uh, but I think it's actually causing me problems, because it's locking me into place. Uh, it's locking me into place. Uh, and it doesn't... All of my other spells have, uh, extremely similar effects. And, uh, so because they all have similar effects, I'm just kind of indiscriminately pressing, like, a bunch of the different buttons. It really wants me to get the Armor of Greed. Oh, there's, there's a difference. There's the Armor of Greed and the gold ar Golden Armor of Envy. I actually didn't realize that. Because the Golden Armor of Envy increases your, uh... Increases prices considerably. Uh, whereas the Armor of Greed... Uh, the Armor of Greed makes it so you take damage whenever you, um... Or you lose gold whenever you take damage. Which is, I mean, that's kind of neat. If you wanted to go for, like, a hefty, uh... I want to say... <sighs> damage avoidance run? Uh, damage reduction? You could probably stack those and actually do really well. Hello! Getting out of there. Timing was not great. Yeah, this guy's not staying stunned for very, very long here, but, I mean, I'm kind of wailing on him. We're doing alright. Alright, and we get the antiquated tabby, which is a little bit of evasion. Yeah, that, that actually is kind of handy. Right, I can just run over those. I don't think I will usually go for the feather. Uh, the problem is the feather makes it so you don't get stuck on pits, but it also makes it so you could, like, 
I could stand on top of the pit and fall into it. Um, which I think actually is... A bit more of a risk than I want to run want to roll with. Run a roll with. Ronald Weasley. Okay, what do you have? Well, kind of guff. This is not a crit build, but this is three two. I'm just gonna buy both of those. I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna crit often. This is this is not a build for that, but it works. That didn't work. That's okay. Let's see. Explosive charge. I don't think I'm going to go with any of these. I think I will stay away from Stone Shot. It's got some perks, but I, I think there's... Uh, I think there's better... Better basic moves. Basic attacks? Than it. Okay. So, we're done. Grab the potion. We don't have anything else that we we would even care to grab. Ah, it did it did flesh out my shield. Good. Uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna grab the armor of greed. The cooldown reduction would be interesting, but double damage is really scary. It, it I have gone from full health to no health against bosses, and that's not something I want to. Uh, that's not something I want to exactly open myself up to. Okay. Thank you, shield. Okay, I'm going to be down here. Damn it. Yeah, the dragon locks me in place or locked me in place. Which isn't a good space to be, but whatever. Yeah, I took too much damage there. I I I gussed it at the wrong time. <sighs> That's fine. We'll be okay. And we could get Dragon Drive. Sure. Uh The wind shot's pretty good. Aqua Vortex is kinda good. But double dragon man. Or well, no, double double dragon, because both both are drag both are double dragons already. Anyway, could have done better. Could have... Eh. Whatever, this will be fine. We got a lot of ranged moves, so I can kind of just hit him. And just avoid. This is arguably one of my safest runs. Just in terms of, like, uh... Avoiding his initial phase. Let's just kind of avoid those for a second. Alright, he's down. Uh, okay. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts more. I mean, we've got a 40% damage bonus. So, like, as long as I don't play stupid here... I played stupid. I played stupid, I won stupid prizes! I'm just ignoring them. I can get it. Yeah, we're good. Well, that was a good run. I'm gonna have to retire all of these spells until I'm done. Oh, speaking of, I think we get to unlock the, the last of the spells in the game, which... Um, you can actually start trading uh, the Chaos Gems for money as kind of like an additional uh, little starting boost. Uh, which will let me be a little bit more... Uh, I don't know. It's the opposite. Wasteful? I don't know. 
uh, starting in a run, usually you start kind of poor. Uh, and for this run, I was especially <laughs> rather wealthy. Yeah, I've... I, I'm actually... I'm a little surprised at how much I'm able to just kind of roll this game. I thought this would be a lot more difficult. But I think it really does come down to a lot of, like, uh, kind of practice and knowledge. Uh... I've had a lot of people say that I make it look easy, and I'm like, it's not easy, it's hard, I can only play it once a day. Okay, so Dragon Blast is real good, and Fate of- oh, that's it, we're done. It really was those two spells. Alright, we are done unlocking everything in the game, unless this guy has another road for me. Oh. Wait, what is this? Board with your outfit, add my own special twist, the Seville Special. Remove your current enchantments and shift it to a fast-paced blend of vigor and tempo. Five gems to alter the outfit. Okay, so that's interesting. I'll have to try that out. But yeah, unfortunately we're out of Arcana. We're out of everything. We we bought everything. Uh, let's see. Plaza is so lively. It's probably this guy. Yeah. So. Oh, this guy will set who we fight first. Uh, let's see. Living courtyards for 10 chaos gems. No. So only, only partially. Let's see. Purchase some chaos gems. 200 gold for 20 chaos gems. So, yeah, we'll be able to start with at least uh, 200 gold. And I'm going to have to try uh, fixing up my robe like that. Hopefully I'll remember for next episode. Because uh, I'm not going to be doing that now, and I don't know if that carries over. So, like I was saying, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.